Hello, hello everyone. In today's video, it's gonna be really short. It should be really short, but today we're gonna go over the broadside. So the broadside being a very, very high damage trap, a lot of people use it, right? But a lot of people don't use it correctly. A lot of people don't use it correctly. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna show you the, the right way to use it. So you just wanna do this. Right, this is how you use a broadside. The broadside needs a wall to bounce off of. If it does not have a wall to bounce off of, it will do nothing. It will do no damage. It might hit one husk for a little bit of damage and that's it. It will do nothing if it has no wall. So if you're placing a broadside like this, where there is nothing for it to bounce on, if you're just sending it out in the field, there it's not going to do anything. It's not going to do anything at all. You have to place it with a wall. So you do this, 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 right? So it has a wall to bounce on. And that wall will cause it to bounce and will just tick damage like crazy until the husk die. If there is no wall, it won't do anything, right? So stop placing broadsides without walls, please be. So right here, see, there's two tiles, but it's still a wall. So it's still gonna bounce, right? So two tile between them, it's still going to bounce, and it's still going to do a lot of damage. Now, three tiles is where you're drawing the line a little bit. It's not going to bounce as much, but it still will do a lot of damage. But two tiles is usually the maximum in between them. That's about it for the broadside, right? There's not much to talk about for the broadside other than you guys need to use it correctly. <laughs> no firing off in a distance, right? It needs a wall to bounce on. If you just put it like this with nothing for it to bounce on, it will do nothing. That's that's all you need to know with the broadside. That's all you need to know.